Hey, what's up? It's Randy from Lamb of God, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Guru Hamid here from Loudwire, and I'm truly, truly happy to say that we've got Randy Bly from Lamb of God here with us today. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you for saying my last name correctly. I very, try. Very few <laughs> people do. Yes, we'll get to that right. and the Wikipedia thing. Yes, we But will. first of all, let's... Uh, Let's talk about your photography exhibition that's yes. going to be happening soon. Uh, show me what you're made of yes. at the Sacred Gallery in New York City until yes. June 30th. Uh, so what can people expect? Uh, they can expect 35 photographs that I've taken over the last few years in my travels around the world. Uh, put in custom made frames from reclaimed wood from old houses in Richmond, Virginia. Some of the wood is like, you know, 200 years old and it looks it. There's like messed up worm where termites were in there. It's really cool. Wow. Um, and they're basically, there's a few landscapes, but because I like landscapes, I get to travel around the world and see cool landscapes, so I might as well take pictures of them. Yeah. But mostly it's portraits uh, and either the subject or I or both of us were in an extreme heightened emotional state when I took the photo. Well, uh, you're talking about taking pictures from all over the world, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, when we were following the, uh, the Czech Republic situation, mm -hmm. you were posting lots of these beautiful photos, mm -hmm. and obviously Prague, uh, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It is. Uh, will people be seeing some of those pictures? Yes, there's five pictures from Prague, yeah. uh, and all the other pictures are open edition, uh, like all other 30 pictures are open edition, meaning like I might reprint them, you know, so that everybody can buy them. But these are only in an edition of 10 because like, yes, art did come out of that and they're really beautiful pictures, but I kind of want that out of my life after sure. it's done. So I'm going to do, you know, 10 of that maximum, you know. Gotcha. Well, people get to, because the people who see it, they may not know the story behind those photos. There will be a written, uh, so they'll they'll be able to follow. The Have you story. ever seen my Instagram? I write absolutely. I write with little stories with it. That's what I'm doing with each picture. Awesome. So that's great. And you know, uh, following your Instagram, there's always these beautiful photos that you're you're putting up there. Mm -hmm. And you know, following you and your career and all the things that you like to to dip your toe into, mm -hmm. it seems like you're the kind of person that you can just find beauty almost anywhere wherever right. you can go. Well, I think that's, I think, you know, that's, that's kind of what, like, my photography is about. I mean, obviously, like, I like to take pictures of spectacular landscapes as yeah. much as the next guy. We were just in Bali, you know, me Ooh. and uh, John and Willie were after our last tour. We went there to surf, and this famous surfer, Rizal Tanjong, who's, like, the king of Bali, yeah. Kirk, Kirk Hammett called him for me. He was like, hey, take my boys surfing, right? So this guy shows up, he's a living legend, and takes us surfing and takes us to this place, Uluwatu, you know, and it is freaking gorgeous. It's a cliffside temple and they have this crazy fire dance ceremony. And I got some really beautiful pictures of that. It's a spectacular landscape, right? But just as beautiful to me was like the stuff I got on the street, you know, in, in, in parts of Bali, you know, where just like regular people going about their everyday lives. Because I think that is where the beauty lives. And I think that's one of the problems with our society today. We're always looking for something outside ourself, you know, and never, nothing's ever good enough. You're chasing something elusive that you're never going to attain. When you get the itch to, to bust out your camera, mm -hmm. When you go out, is there anything in particular that you look for, or is it just like waiting for that moment where you say that? Well, I mean, it depends. Like, if I'm like, like I'm in New York right now, I'm not gonna go look for anything. I'm just gonna take my camera and walk out on the street because something is gonna be there. Because this place is chock full of freaks. Yeah. You know, and it's like, it's awesome. You know, and there's people from around the world, and it, I think it's the best city in the world for street photography. You know. Um, but, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll go on specific things, like I've been in the subway tunnels here. We were yes. talking about that earlier, you know, I'm, I'm very specifically going down there looking for, uh, you know, old graffiti, 
you know, and, and anything that may have been left by someone who was living down there or whatever. I'm looking for specific things, you yeah. know. But I, I don't normally set out to like capture something. Yeah. I just walk out and, and that's really what it's like to me. It's like, okay, let's pay attention. What's going on around us? Let's not do this. Sure. You know, it's, psh, okay, look and see, you know. <laughs>